welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to tour Castel Sant'Angelo. We just ate gelato at one of the best places in Rome called Old Bridge. Highly recommend, don't you agree? Oh, it was so good. It's one of the best. I got vanilla, cafe, and biscotto. That vanilla is so good. What'd you get? I don't know the name of this, but it has Hazelnuts and chocolate. and mint chocolate. chocolate. So Castel Saint Angelo is the castle that's located right near St. Peter's. As you can see behind us, we're walking toward it now. Both of us have never toured the inside and there's a bar at the top of it with a beautiful view over the city and of the dome of St. Peter's. We are trying to time this visit right at sunset, so it should be really beautiful. I'm glad you guys are here. Thanks for clicking on this video. Let's go explore a little bit. Welcome to Castel Sant'Angelo, the ancient mausoleum built by Emperor Hadrian over 2,000 years ago. This magnificent structure has stood the test of time and has served as a fortress and a castle for many generations. Today, it's a museum that offers visitors a unique insight into the history and culture of ancient Rome. Join us as we explore the spectacular architecture, the mysterious Pope's passageway, and the breathtaking view from the top of the castle. Castel Sant'Angelo was an initially commissioned by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as a mausoleum for himself and for his family. Emperor Hadrian was a Roman emperor who reigned from 117 to 138 AD. He was one of the most influential and powerful Roman emperors, who is best known for his many public works, military campaigns, and religious reforms. Hadrian was a great builder who is responsible for the construction of many monuments, including the Pantheon, the Temple of Venus, and Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian was also an admirer of Greek culture and he was responsible for bringing many aspects of Greek culture to Rome. He was also a very tolerant ruler who respected the faiths of others and he was a great patron of the arts. The exterior of Castel Sant'Angelo is decorated with statues, reliefs, and monumental columns, making it a really impressive sight. The interior contains a number of artifacts from its long history, including the funerary urns of Hadrian and his family, and the castle also has several rooms with Renaissance frescoes and sculptures. The view from the top of Castel Sant'Angelo is one of the best in Rome. From the top of the castle, visitors can get a panoramic view of the city, including the Tiber River, Vatican City and the Dome of St. Peter's Basilica, as well as many churches, palaces, and monuments that make up the magnificent city of Rome. The view from the top is truly breathtaking and is not to be missed. You may want to stop and take in the view and conveniently there is a bar located on the terrace of the building which offers spectacular views of the city. It's a beautiful place to sit and enjoy a relaxing evening with a drink and some food and the bar offers a variety of Italian wines and beers as well as a selection of cocktails. The atmosphere is very relaxed and the staff is quite friendly. Sant'Angelo is an incredible piece of history that offers a unique glimpse into the past. From the towering walls to the breathtaking view at the top, this castle could be enjoyed by all. Whether you're a history buff or just looking for a great view, Castel Sant'Angelo is sure to be a highlight of your visit to Rome. Next week, we are setting off on an exciting 10-day journey through other parts of Italy. We are starting off by exploring the medieval city of Assisi. From there, we'll be heading off to uncover more hidden gems throughout this beautiful country. It's sure to be an unforgettable adventure, so make sure you're subscribed and join us on our mother-daughter journey through Italy. See you in the next video. Ciao, friends.